this is Mahmoud Hassan Mehraz. Welcome to another solution tutorial of ANSYS. Today we are going to solve a simulation problem with ANSYS. So, this is a range. Today we will drawing a doing a two dimensional elasticity problem. So, our problem is a combination range is a conventional tool that is used to apply torque to lo loosen or tighten a fastener. The range shown below is made of stainless steel and has a thickness of 3 mm. Determine the maximum deformation and the distribution of bond misses stress under the given distribution load and the boundary condition. So we can see here a range has been given and all the dimension has been also given and the material is stainless steel so young modulus uh, is 193 gigapascal and Poisson ratio is 0 0.27 and here we can see a pressure and this pressure is 2 mega pascal okay so first of all start your ANSYS workbench software and from that go to static structural option and drag it into project symmetry and here in our question we can see our material is stainless steel so we need to set up this material for setting up this material go to engineering data now click here to add new material now write stainless steel okay after that select the isomet uh, isotopic elasticity then in the young's modulus uh, place data 193 e to the power 9 and in the portion ratio set it to 0.27 unit now our engineering data has been set now it's time for drawing the geometry for drawing the geometry you can see here we have a range uh, of size here this dimension is 40 so from the mid plane i will draw two line a 40 here and a 40 dimension here and then i will draw this circular arc and this arc has a radius of 12 and here we have another circular arc and this arc has a 12.5 radius then i will draw this two line then i will join this two line then i will fillet 2.5 unit in both sides so let's see how it will be drawn so in here you know you know geometry property uh, if this option don't show go to property option uh, as we are doing two dimensional elasticity problem so select the analysis type as 2d now right click on it now open the new space claim geometry software so in the software first we need to set the unit so first open the space claim option and from that uh, select the unit here and set the unit to millimeter and from here minor grid set to one millimeter now press ok now we will draw our sketch in the xy plane so right click on it select a new sketch plane now hover your mouse and select the xy plane now go to plane view and now zoom it and from here select the line option and in the line option you can use the cartesian dimension to set where you want to move your cursor so i'm pointing here and from here you can see i can move and we can see here we can see the distance and the distance we can change the distance by using the tab button you can see and as our first geometry will be drawn six meter apart from here so six millimeter and dimension to six millimeter now enter and it has a horizontal dimension of 40 unit so i am giving the horizontal dimension of 40 unit okay now in the same way i will draw another line so i am selecting again the center here and we will draw a line and it will be 6 millimeter apart from here oh, okay i have done a mistake it will be negative 6 millimeter apart 
so second cartesian dimension now placing here and it will be negative 6 millimeter change it negative 6 millimeter dimension from here and now dimension to 40 unit okay now it's time for drawing the, the circle of curve so i am selecting the three point arc option now placing a point here and placing another point here and dimension it to radius 10 unit after that i i will draw another circle in the other side also so before drawing the circle another portion we already seen that we have a hexagonal shape here and this hexagonal shape has a 6 and uh, 12 unit distance so i will first draw this hexagonal shape for doing this select the polygon option and place it to this origin now as you can see we can change the dimension by choosing the tab option so first i will select dimension this to 12 minute then i, I use the tab option now we'll use 90 degree okay it has been six side now press enter we have drawn our hexagonal shape now it's time for draw the other arc so selecting this point and this point and drawing a circle of 12.5 radius so our circle has been drawn now it's time for draw the draw this shape so now selecting line option again as we can see it is 10 unit apart from here this line is 10 unit apart from this line so i am pointing here so i am using the cartesian dimension again and placing this point here here and now dimension to negative negative 10 unit so that i can get the point now the drawing a horizontal line okay now again i will draw another line here so i i am again using the cartesian dimension option now placing my point here now drawing drawing it to minus 10 unit here so my cursor has been placed now drawing a horizontal line now connect this two point now almost everything is done now i am selecting the trim option and trimming this part because we don't need this part now it's time to round rounding our this shape for rounding our shape i will using the create rounded corner and selecting this line and again this line hovering mouse to this line and here you can see we can put our dimension so here i am giving the 2.5 radius dimension same way select one line and hover your mouse to second line and you can dimension it to 2.5 unit now we can think think that it's almost done so i'm selecting the select sketch now going to home view it will give me an isometric view now select the pool option and from the pool option you can select faces as i don't need this face so i'm selecting this face and pressing the delete button on keyboard so i have deleted this face and we need to extrude this face as we have seen in our question the thickness is three millimeter so i need to set the thickness to three millimeter okay the line option i am select select this face surface and in the in the thickness option here you can give three millimeter so the thickness has been automatically set three millimeter so our sketch has been drawn now we can close the space claim option now it's time to model the geometry and fix, fix the support and give the desired load for doing this we will use the mechanical so double click on the model option okay 
in here from the geometry option and select the we need to select the material so our material is stainless stainless steel so change the material to stainless steel after that we need to set the mesh so right click on it insert insert method and method select automatic and select the geometry option and select this geometry now apply now it's time for setting the sizing of our mesh so i'm selecting this geometry for meshing and for meshing i will select 1.5 millimeter okay now right click on it now generate mesh it will now generate the mesh okay now it's time for fix our support so for fixing our support i will fix the hexagonal shape so go to select the static structure right click on it go to insert and fix support and in the fix support select the line option and select the hexagonal select the edge option here and select, select the hexagonal part so control click all the hexagonal part so i'm content clicking all the hexagonal part now apply so it is our fixed support now it's time for give the load pressure so go to insert option and select the pressure and from the pressure i will give uh, give it to a directional pressure so selecting pressure as the component now select the geometry so select edge option and we are giving pressure in this upper portion now select apply now as the pressure we have we had pressure to mega pascal so i am giving pressure as 2 mega pascal so as it was downward force so we need to set the negative 2 me mega pascal so it has been set to 2 negative 2 mega pascal now it's time for solution so right click on it insert deformation total deformation and now we need to set the stresses to equivalent bond misses now it's time for retrieve the result so right click on the solution now select the solve now give time it will solve the solution so click on total deformation so it is our total deformation and select the equivalent stress so it is our equivalent stress so thank you for watching till the end Thanks for watching and keep learning. Be different.